Okay. So, so you're asking like what? Uh, Pure. Did you see that thing I posted about uh, pure experience by Yoshida? Uh, not. I don't remember that. Yeah. He, I mean, he, what he was talking about. Uh, he's a Japanese, 20th century philosopher, and um, yeah. Okay, I, I, just, I, because you had didn't see it. I just posted the first paragraph of this thing, but, but, to, I don't know if I can recapitulate it. But it sounds a lot like what you were saying. Um, that experience is intrinsically pure. I think what you're where you're going at, it seems to me is that um, you're saying that this whole thing about duality. Actually, the experience inherently is pure. The duality is 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 a, I don't know. It's it's a, a weird something going on in there. But fundamentally, it's all pure. You know, you can't really get away from purity. Yeah. So I mean, if you think of it that way, so I'll say that somebody asks you light, isn't it? What? Somebody asks you what is light. So light is always there. Even when clouds are covering it, even when the fog is covering it, mm -hmm. even if there is a lot of cloud, even if you have moved away, even if you have pulled your curtain, mm -hmm. or even if you have hidden inside uh, a door, still light is there. You may not see it. So for you, you can say that light is not there at that time. So same way you can say that totality can be out of your view. Unity can be out of your view because you are so enclosed in your own thought. You are in your own little world that is inside your own head. So totality is still there, unity is still there, clarity is still there, grace is still there, is that you are not available to it. Or it's not available to you because you are lost somewhere else. You are not looking out, You are not. Lo your doors are not open to it. That's, that's a different way of, I would, that's fresh, that's refreshing and I like it. So like... Uh, it's, it's almost like a melon is bright and breaks open. That, that, you know, the, the one story that struck me is a guy telling me about when he was, I don't know, like a young adult, that he and his friends, they would do this thing where they would get a, a chicken and grab by the legs and they'd swing it in their arms and they'd be at a tennis court and they'd put the chicken down, hold his head right on the white line. And the chicken would go taken off, just fall in that line, and they would laugh. The, the, the fun for them was when it hit the corner. Okay. But I think the great image because I think that's you know this thing about inside see it's the same as the chicken you're, you're the person is following their own little and they're like oh that is such bullshit guy but but you know so we have to get past all our own little you know because it, it, that doesn't mean anything yeah, yeah I mean so if you think that uh, I will say that uh, if some if I have to say what I think the greatest uh, spiritual discovery a greatest spiritual achievement is. I will say that it's uh, ability to live without an identity. An identity. Yeah. Yeah. Ability to live without uh, history. Ability to live without a personhood. Because pretty much everything we do or associate as humans, it involves about idea of me being a person. I'm either like looking to improve this person or I am worrying that this person is not good enough, this person is not kind enough, mm -hmm. this person is not like uh, sexy enough, handsome enough, attractive enough. Or I am. I think that oh my God, this person is like so great, so grand. This person is I really in trouble. <laughs> yeah. So either way, like most of my thoughts, most of my thinking, as well as most of my troubles. I start with this person and end with this person. Yeah, yeah. And the moment I have learned to live without this person. When at any it, given moment you can do. Yeah. And that I think is the, one of the biggest spiritual achievement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I guess my a reason I wrote about, which is a, you know, like sort of my like, you know, it all in a nutshell, like you just did. Is different, but it maps to that. Is that um, it's like it's a system, and, and there is thought. Okay, but thought is really just the rumblings of consciousness. It's not thoughts like little slides or something. Thought is just this, or you know, underbrush almost. This is stuff, and um, but if it gets involved in self-reference, it gets all messed up. 
And so you've got to eliminate all the self-reference, that's all. Yeah, and yeah. so what you just said is a way of eliminating self-reference. Yeah. And, I mean, one thing is that if you get, like, one uh, idea, and by you, I don't mean you. I mean, like, me if one or gets any, anybody. If one gets that idea, and which, in my mind, is totally real, it then it's not something that you have to imagine. It's not something that you have to assume. It's not something that you have to just like accept. I think you can see that it is really true. So as we talked before, we talked before like how like says light comes from sun. And this light has been coming for billions of years. So we can say that okay. This, but in reality, science will tell you or any study will tell you that actually there are explosions that are happening on sun every second, every right. moment, right. and those explosions are continuously producing this light. Uh -huh. So light that you see right now, it's, yeah, it's yeah. now, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. 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 it's yeah. only now, this is not the light that was there billions of years ago, or hundreds of years ago, or yeah. not like... Uh, or if it was, it's only, it's the one from 100 billion years ago, not from a year ago. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. So this light is just right now. Yeah. So if this light now we start having this idea of that I was born like 15 billion year ago, or I might die 200, 2 billion year ago, or what can I do to be brighter, or what I can do so that I can live longer, it's actually like entering into a domain which is just problem, because yeah, right. it's based so, on wrong assumption. Right, it's self -perfect. It's not reality at all. So same way, like I am conscious. But this consciousness that is right now is not same that was like 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 1 year ago, or 10 or, minutes ago. Or second ago. Or second ago. And the moment I realize it, I mean, you can say that I'm free right now. Yeah, you can't, it, it, you're naked when you, if you realize that. Yeah. Because you don't have anything. Yeah. You no, know, you can't leave your stuff. You can't take your stuff. You don't have stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the mistake that I make is that of course, like every brain, every body, every person carries memory. So I can go inside my head, take all these memories, and imagine myself as this person who has gone through these experiences. And then I can have all sort of fear, all sort of aspirations, all sort of desire. That is basically based on that person. And, and all that stuff actually is in the now. It's just misconstrued. Yeah. Now I'm thinking that, okay, how I'm going to continue, how I have continued, but all that is only in my head, and all this is a story that I am making right now. And so, and so because it is actually happening now, and it's just misconstrued, one therapy that, that I guess, the, the way I tend to suggest therapy is for myself and others is, so you just sort of experience that happening right now. You don't worry about that it's all in your head. You don't worry about it, it's about you. You just sort of let yourself experience this that thing sort of oozing out. You know, it's, just, it's like a chemicals. You know. it's, it's just, uh, yeah. so, so it's just like, whatever I'm doing, I think it's it's like one day, about three weeks ago, I had a conversation with a friend, and it was like a, 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 a disturbing conversation, and I was upset about something, and I was and I was watching myself, see? I mean, hey, what's going on here, bud? You know, it's like, so it's just, Okay, you know, just just experience. You know, it's, I don't have to exp understand anything. I just have to. I, I just let myself feel it oozing out. This right now, all the. Yeah, yeah. It's not very clear, but I, I think you get it. Yeah, thank you.